Welcome to the party. What's up, Greg? How are you, sir? How's it going? Good, good. I, I'm, I'm guessing the, uh, the sh- shopping for all the holiday presents isn't getting you down. No, not even no, close. Not no. even close. And, and I'm probably not even close to done. So. Oh, you, have, you haven't even started? Have you started? Oh, we started. We started. Oh. We started. We started on Black Friday. We, I we, am a large. We did the crazy go out. You're a large, really? I'm a large. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm in an underwear. You know. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. In case I, you guys I, haven't, if ahead. that's the case, I'm still a double XL. So <laughs> good for you. In case you guys haven't figured this out, this is Johnny and the Greg, and it's Topic Thunder Monday. How you doing, Greg? Doing good. I'm doing good. all right. Good. All right. Um, I'm not having a good luck with the random question site I used to be on. Is coming up with like what's your favorite we, Olipop? That's we've like, exhausted yeah, we've exhausted the good ones. Right. So I came up with this one that's actually been on the podcast before you actually joined the podcast. It was one of the podcast topics, but I never talked to you about it. Greg, do you believe in UFOs? Ah, I don't know. That's fair. I, I'm going to put it at that. I, uh, I believe it was Carl Sagan that wrote in one of his books that if we're the only people here, that seems like an awful waste of space. So that's, that's uh that's very well put. Yeah. I, I think, and maybe it's just my upbringing or whatnot. I, I, I believe in UFOs more than I would believe in ghosts. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. I'm, um, Obviously, uh, I'm pretty open to it. I, in fact, uh, it actually really interests me. Now, I don't know how far I, there's so many ways you can go with this. They mm-hmm. are, you know, the green little men or they're the grays or they're the government or they're us from millions of years in the future <laughs> and they've time traveled back. I, whatever. I don't know. I'm just open to it. So, yeah, I, I wrote a paper in high school. I think it was. So this was a topic that my English teacher just decided to cover um, because he could get his writing. I think that's kind of the point. And uh, the stance I took is what, like, what do I think is more likely? I mean, intelligent life, very possible. Space-faring peoples, maybe, sure. Um, I do believe in the idea of intelligent design for the human race, so I I think that it probably could be useful for something else. But I also would believe more along the lines of just like a predatory or just like an existing space creature. Like if we went to another planet that could sustain life of some kind, that if we went there enough other life had developed like animal life, like, like maybe, maybe not quite the aliens predator, like those kind of aliens, but, uh, um, there was actually a there was a really good, sci, uh, it was a science fiction series on Netflix. Um, I want to say it was called Afterlife. Starred. Half-Life? No, not Half Life. It was. Uh, I think no, it was no, called I didn't see it. Afterlife. Oh, um, yeah, I, I think it starred Katie Sackhoff from. Um, Where I know that name. Well, she well, she we share her birthday, so maybe that's why. That um, has to be it, yeah. Uh, she was she played Starbuck on the revi- uh, reboot of Battlestar. Oh, Back to I know. Okay, I know who she is. Um, I never actually watched that show, but I know who that is now. I I didn't think you would, but uh, but she did uh, so that's on Netflix. To be Greg, I can watch Battlestar Galactica. You you can. I just didn't think you would. Bears. Um, Beats <laughs> Battle Star Galactica. Of course, I'm failing on my typing skills here because um, I want to find the name of this. Uh, but what it's a story that she has to go out in space, and it's one of those, you know, advanced space stations like uh, they like intel, like a 
a big rock has landed on Earth and it's some kind of a probe and they track it back to where it came from. So they're going to send a ship out to see what it really is. Wait, um, is this is this an actual mo- is this a movie? Miniseries? It's a series. It's a series on on Netflix. Um, Another Life. That's the name. Of Another it. Life. Okay. So, um, and it was great. It was really good. And what it you know. You think it's going to, like, each episode is kind of a mini-movie in itself. Um, But some of the first life that they come across is, like, a virus. Which would make sense. You ever see that movie Life? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That that was a good movie, too. I I enjoyed that movie. You know what? Um, I've seen enough of it. I have never seen the whole movie. But I've seen enough of it to where I don't want to see it because it actually scares me. Dude, the end. The end is amazing. I already know about the end. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, yeah. See, I, that, I, I like how science fiction has made kind of that transition back to almost like early science fiction where not everything is a happy ending. Like, it right. doesn't always have to end with, you know, some intergalactic hero standing on top of a mountain kind of thing. Um, oh, that was a good movie. I liked it. I liked it yeah, a lot. But, I... I I've seen enough of it to go to just give me the heebie-jeebies. Like, just isn't it called Calvin? Maybe, yeah. And didn't they say that life was the prequel to Venom, or something like that? There was there was talks of that. I remember yeah. when it was being made. They're like, this could be, this could be like a. And when I watched it, I'm like, this doesn't yeah, quite make sense. Symbiote. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good. I liked it a lot. And, and along the same lines with uh, Another Life, I mean, just, and they do episodes. I mean, it's just like one episode is this, and another episode deals with, you know, if humans do create the super intelligent AI, how that can go wrong. Or just the fact that you have a giant, you know, ecosystem in space. Right. Millions of things can go wrong there. I mean, yeah. so it was a really good show. I liked it a lot. Yeah, so, okay, so you believe in other life, but you're not so sure about unidentified flying objects. I think it's possible. I mean, I I think if... I think it's absolutely possible. If there is a... And you're right, if if, if it could be time travelers, I mean, Einstein said that that could be a possibility. Interdimensional. Uh, Oh, yeah, the the interdimensional thing, I think, is definitely a possibility. Um, Or just, yeah, visitors from... From another planet there there's a do you remember et yeah, yeah of, course, of course uh they they just came out with like a he comes back to earth and I, yes some, i haven't it, seen that is it good is it i haven't watched I, I haven't watched the whole thing yet I, there are okay. a lot of people who are saying i watched it and i started crying and i'm like really i don't think i want to watch it then because i don't want to purposely start crying how long is it so, how long is it? Uh, it it's a big advertisement for a company so it's it's got to be i i don't think it could be more than a half hour but Oh wow! I, I thought it was a commercial, like a sixty-second commercial. Well, there is a sixty-second commercial, but then, much like uh, much like Michael Jackson did with the music video, they can elongate ah, the storylines, and where true. sometime this mega company is going to save the universe or get ET home or I see something, something to make us want to go. Oh, I want to go buy their stuff now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look. The ET commercial is four minutes and nineteen seconds long. For Xfinity. Oh, what it's is, for Xfinity. What is Xfinity again? Xfinity is just like AT and T. It's just it's just a oh. cable provider. It's a oh okay. So they're a telecommunications company, and he's yeah, going to phone yeah. home. Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. Got it. Hey, good for them. That yeah. must have cost a pretty penny to get ET get the rights to et pay well, the actor elliot to come back well, i think that's probably the cheapest thing out of that entire deal Actually, you have to yeah pay but off get the Steve, rights to et you have to pay off steven spielberg don't you yeah yeah can't be easy mm. Mm. so yeah i think um there's not much more to say it's a possibility any possibility you were to throw yeah. at me the only one that I have a hard time wrapping my head around is the idea that the government's taken over by reptilian people. <laughs> that one I have a really hard time. Yeah, yeah I, don't I have that. a really hard time uh, wrapping my head around that. Or that Nazis are in the center of the universe, or in the center of the Earth. Earth is hollow. Iron Sky. Yeah. 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 
those are the other ones I'm a little bit like, oh, okay. But, um, yeah. Do you want it to be true? Or would that terrify you? Um, I think it'd be slightly terrifying. I mean, to, absolutely. Because there's, uh, there's just so many what ifs that, I mean, yeah. Are they, are they good? Are they bad? Um, a couple of books I read, uh, one of them is, it, it pretty much is the last Starfighter kind of concept. Okay. Yeah. Where, um, all the video games that we played, the book's called Armada from the same guy that wrote uh, Ready Player One, uh, James Ernest. And um, so like all the all the first person shooters, all this, all the like flight simulator games, all that stuff is just training us for warfare with an alien race. And uh, talk about an underrated movie, The Last Starfighter. Oh, I it was so, a great movie. It was a great movie. It was ahead of its time. Yes. There's been, there's been talks of remakes for a couple uh, of years now. I don't know if or, I'm, I'm sorry. Not not a remake. I'm sorry. A reboot. Oh, uh, okay. Where where oh, I can't remember the actor's name who played uh Alex. Alex, yeah. God, I'm Jeez. sad I remember that. <laughs> they said it enough in the movie. Alex, yes. Alex, 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 Alex. Um so that he has returned to Star Command and is recruiting new pilots. New pilots. Okay. And, and they kind of take it up from there. And I'm like, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Espe- especially with the way, kind of what I'm talking about, what this book did. You know, training kids through online gaming and whatnot and making that be the Earth Defense Force. The, the thing that actually really intrigues me um through i mean when you get into ufo stuff it branches out into a million different places and somehow some conspiracy theory guy tries to connect them all but anyway one of them is the men in black and not your will smith timey lee jones um but like these real sinister people that are either aliens or they're robots or they're working for the government or something but i always find those um those stories so interesting and when they get like video proof of these two guys walking in and it gets my conspiracy yeah. uh hat going I, I i have fun with it yeah i i believe in that i believe that could be a thing i also think uh there's there's just like the shadow the shadow cabinet that's like running the entire world where it's yeah I mean, some people call it the Illuminati. Some people right. call it lots of other things. But just that idea of, like, the people that we vote for and put in charge, they're not really in charge. Yeah. Well, they're it, only there for a temporary. Yeah. 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 They, they do their thing. And then it, it's just, like, some big shadow conspiracy thing. I, I, I think that that's pretty believable. Yeah. Me too, actually. Me too. And um, Epstein did not hang himself. No, he did not. Not no, at all. He didn't. He did. he did. He was suicided by somebody. Yeah, big time. <laughs> All right. So uh, I think I got you to kind of. Well, I didn't get you to do anything, but you believe. I I, I thought you'd be. I thought you'd try to shoot holes in every part of this. So, but you surprised no, me. No, this one. This one I can is within the realm of feasibility. Around. Yeah, I can. Okay. All right. All right. Let's uh, move on over to our fact of the day. Which is, why isn't it working? Oh, here we go. Canada, God bless bacon, has passed a law banning genetic discrimination when providing a service or signing a contract, among other things, and which is now included within the Canadian Human Rights Act. Help me, help me with that, Greg. What? I think what they're saying is like, if you're... You know, male, female, transgender, oh. or, or whatever, yeah, okay, whatever it, it is, now. you can't you can't write specifics in a contract where it could be only men can do this, only women can do this, only yeah. whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. That, like there, there's an any type of opportunities or jobs out there where people are being. They're talk. Are they talking about race more than genetics? I think it's both. Yeah. Okay, so like if you're, I don't know, like. You have something wrong with one colored eye. Yeah, I, I think uh, it might stem from. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that's genetics. But the idea, like, if you own a business and that business, it, let's, let's say you're a photographer. Yeah. And you go, you enter into it. I mean, those run on contracts. You 
put a bid out, you know, they accept the bid. It's like, a yeah. Contract. And then you find out that the groom is transgen- transgendered. You can't pull out of that or say, no, that, that doesn't work. But, you know, I've got a clause in my contract that I won't do that. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe, maybe uh, we do have some listeners in Canada. So that's right. We are totally wrong on that. We'd be happy to hear from you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Greg, I think that'll do it for today. Uh, I don't know. What, any, you got anything to say? No, not really. Yeah, I'm, we, we're, we're a week. Be, to say. We're a week before Christmas, so we are, and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Do you got stuff outside? I've got lights outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got lights. I've got a plant. Mm, got some other got, stuff. Yeah. You got a you got a plant. Costco was selling these awesome looking like you know evergreen plants with like some berry things in it and stuff. And so we, oh, so you got a tree. Yeah, Christmas. No, it's not. It's not. It's not a tree. It's 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 a it's like a it's a potted plant you know, of like Christmas greens, and you set it on the side, like a bush, like a bush. No, it's in a pot. It's a potted plant. <laughs> You're gonna have to take a picture and post it on Facebook. Oh, I I will. I'll take a okay. picture and post it. On. <laughs> All right, Greg. Look at my plants. Johnny and the Greg, topic thunder out. Thank you for listening. See ya.